I'm writing this letter to you from the Eldorado Correctional Facility. My nine-year-old son, Marcus, needs a big brother. I know your waiting list is long, but I'm asking that you match him to a man that can help him not make the same mistakes I've made. As a single mom, it's important to me that he has people in his life who can role model how a couple respect and love each other. Thank you for becoming a second family to the most important man and mine. Our family's been matched with Trey since he was eight years old. Margaret and I have been matched since I was nine years old. Sid and I are matching the Bigs and Blue program. The person had asked him, you know, what about your life would you change? And his answer was, not a thing. And I thought, what a wonderful outlook on life, and I just have to meet this kid that's got this optimism. We believe that in order to break cycles, that it requires personal engagement and relationships. And what we do is work to match children who are facing significant adversity in their lives to adults who care, and to match them to those adults to build that relationship that will change them forever. Javel is just a part of our family. Our kids have another brother to hang out with. Watching her grow up, watching her graduate from college, watching her become a wife, now watching her become a mother. It's, um, she's a beautiful person inside and out, and I'm just grateful to have been a little piece of that along the way. What I want for Javel is what he wants. I, my job as his mentor is to help him get to where he wants to go in life. I tell people this, the Big Brothers program and Trey was probably as much good for our family as it was for Trey. When I can go and spend 30, 40 minutes with a kid and just laugh and smile and high five or go shoot some hoops with him, I mean, that's immeasurable. Mentoring is actually an expression of appreciation for all the good that we have in our lives because of those who've helped us along the way. And I know that mentoring works. For me personally, I was 12 years old and in foster care when Roy and Pam reached into my life and began to mentor me. So why do I invest in big brothers, big sisters? Why do I ask other community leaders to do the same? It's because of technology. If you think about 30 or 40 years ago, kids got information from their families, and now they get it from places that causes kids to get misinformation and get misguided. Well, mentoring can be a game changer for a lot of kids who feel like they're suffering in silence, like no one knows or cares about them. Having one mentor, one adult in their life engage with them who is sharing that they do matter, that they are important, uh, can really change a young man's life or a young lady's life. Honestly, I, I don't know where I would be right now without them. Like, I can't even, I can't even thank them enough. It's almost 21 years, and I can't imagine my life without her. I think that me and Sergeant Grader are going to be brothers for the rest of our lives. It's our obligation to help these kids. And these teens won't have a chance to live a life that's got meaning if they don't get the proper direction. And that's why I'm in this, to help bring structural and systemic solutions to a problem which is systemic. We cannot believe now that Trey is in college studying to be an athletic director, and we couldn't be more proud of him and his accomplishments. Now Jenny is the director of operations for my husband's company. She's motivated, she's talented, she's hardworking. She's a blessing to our family, our business, and our community. Javel is growing up to be a very fine young man. Now, you know, I feel like I'm a part of his life and he's a part of mine, and, and uh, you know, I couldn't imagine what the last two years would be without having to hang out with him at least once a week. So. Nothing is greater impact than people like you and me who take a few hours out of our time each month to engage a youth, to show them who they are capable of becoming.